up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Guy Party. This is beautiful, Brad. This is Chester. Marie. Michael Benjamin. So what's up, everybody? I don't know. I got my, my special guest here. <laughs> special guest. Yeah. Chester's giving S- some good rubs. Special guest that I like to molest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. I give my consent. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah cons- consent is important. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here comes a question. If it's your fiance and she doesn't give a consent, is it still rape even though she belongs to you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you kind of like took the power away from it when you said belongs to you, but <laughs> I mean, I don't know, have you branded her yet? Jesus. The branding is the ring, right? No, oh. no, it's like that hot iron that you like like shove into her butt cheek and uh. like create a scar. <laughs> <laughs> Or it's true, though. What is this thing around my finger? You don't have one. How come men don't wear one? Yeah, where's yours at, it's Chester? Not really fair. Yeah, you should be wearing a promise ring. We're not married we yet, to, so it's like I, I get to keep being <laughs> promiscuous, and <That's> your- <laughs> and 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 for you, you're just marked. Yeah, you're marked. I'm- you're branded. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I think it goes back to the old days of the dowry, though, when like. People who didn't afford any kind of dowry, though, to give the woman's family, they came up with some bullshit ring, and they were like, I swear, it's just like... Promise. Instead of, like, a goat? No, it's like a... Oh, yeah, instead of a goat. It's like a promise <laughs> that I'm going to give you a goat one day. I swear I'll give you a goat. Just take this ring, put it on your finger, mm-hmm. and eventually it'll happen one day. So, when are you going to give her a goat? Where's my goat? What is a goat again? Tom Brady. Tom, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the dowry. Just like if you can't afford like actual expensive gifts to get back in the day the dowry was that you Oh, gave you them, just gave him a goat. Yeah. yeah oh, gotcha. Get, or whatever you had. And you had to give him something. Yeah. Just like back in the day if a girl's walking a goat, you're like, Oh, she's she's spoken for. She's got a goat already. Probably. More than likely. <laughs> More than likely. Instead of a ring, it's just, it's just like a farm animal of some the kind. The village of Sendermen. <laughs> <laughs> the women couldn't afford goats back then. So. But then, like, back in those days, if you wanted to, like, take a spoken for a woman, you just slaughtered her farm animal <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and asserted your dominance. Or do you slaughter the animal, or do you alpha the goat to where it runs away? Like, because I'm picturing all these alphas we know okay. just fucking these goats. I feel like I have the way. ultimate build, though, on this topic. Uh, have you guys seen the, the show Sweet Tooth yet? I haven't, but I got Netflix because everyone keeps talking about yeah, it. Yeah, seriously, I, you need to watch it. Is and it, I'm not going to give it away, all the way. But is I'm it saying. like that video game Twisted Metal? No. Oh, there's a character named what? Sweet Tooth on there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he drove an ice cream truck. I don't think Anyways. it's anything like that guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, basically, in short, something happens, without giving too much away, where they start developing hybrid babies, like animals and humans. Oh, is together. that it? Yeah, yeah, we watched the pilot. It's pretty, oh, pretty cool. Yeah, so, what's yeah, it yeah. going I heard that shit's it's amazing. It is good. Yeah. But going into that, I was going to say that, so, in the future, we're going to be fucking hybrid goat people. Yeah, speaking of that, I was laid up with a bad back, and I'm like, fuck it, man, I got sick of watching HBO Max shit. So you started watching animal porn? Always, down here. <laughs> yeah. In the dungeon, there's always animals porn. Animals porn. But, uh, <laughs> fucking, I kept hearing about Sweet Tooth, so I re-registered with Netflix, but then I started, like, my intent was to watch Sweet Tooth, but I started watching The Sons of Sam. Oh, uh, we started that. that. We, we didn't finish it. it, but it's interesting. Dude, the Son of Sam, man, that was one that was always interest me outside of like the the Manson. I love that um, John Leguizamo movie. Yes, dude, I love that movie myself. Mm-hmm. That's what always like drew me. Yeah, because John Leguizamo so did that movie. No, he was in that yeah, movie. Yeah, with in it. Yeah. Adrian Brody, I think, was yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah it was a good ass movie. The Son of Sam movie. Yeah, this yeah. Was before that's been a while. Like, I'm getting goosebumps. Oh yeah, it was like in the two thousands. Yeah, yeah, before those guys blew up. Yeah, I don't know. I started watching that documentary, and I guess they're like talking about that there could be multiple fucking killers. Right. I mean, at least the first couple episodes, it definitely made it seem like there could be. I haven't watched the ending yet, but have you guys watched it all? No. Yeah, because I need to finish it. Okay. Now we here. got we got distracted. 
Yeah, I don't know, man. I never even thought about that. Fucking, it's crazy, like, all the information they bring to it. But, yeah, Son of Sam, that was, that was some wild shit. What was it, like, dude thought some, like, dog was telling him to kill people? Yeah. What? Has Leia ever told you to kill people? Yeah, uh, she's like, <laughs> fucking put more peanut butter on. <laughs> <laughs> and you obey. <laughs> I say, no, Leia, that's inappropriate. <laughs> this is a PG apartment. <laughs> <laughs> While well, you have the animal porn on in the background, <laughs> getting her all riled up. <laughs> that sounds like that movie Frailty. Uh, oh yeah, uh, that was a Bill Paxton, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good, hey, that's a good fucking movie. Fucking, uh, the ending I thought was great, just because you really don't think that's what's going. If you haven't watched Frailty by now, I think you need to watch it. Absolutely, yeah, that was a good movie. Uh-huh. I didn't see it coming. It's been yet. forever since I've seen. I don't even remember the plot. <laughs> there was a lot of good movies. To Blockbuster when it was still a thing. I mean, this is we're showing our age here, oh guy mm-hmm. party. But uh, they would do this sale when movies came out of, like you know like three for fucking 20 yeah, and yeah. shit so i would go every sunday on my hangover and go like buy oh movies yeah for 20 bucks and sit and watch them and like frailty was one of them it was a really good movie yeah never really right. heard of it until then so you know covid is kind of ending yeah. and it seems like movie theaters are coming back they yeah. are yeah so are you going for it are you ready to get back to it? I'm ready. I'm yeah? fucking ready. Well, yeah. yeah. I was going to actually ask you if you wanted to go see Black Widow when it comes out. Absolutely. Remember yeah. when we used to do the Thursday night premieres? Uh, oh, we're doing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All yeah, right. I can't well, wait. well uh, babe, uh, apparently I'm, I'm going to be busy on Thursday nights. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> Can we hold At you to that? At least for Black Widow. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm amped to see that. I'm, uh, of course, the Marvel one. Was it July 17th or something? Uh, second, I think. Yeah. Oh, or, July 2nd. Yeah, yeah. It's soon. It's like in a couple weeks. I don't think Ghostbusters is coming until, like, fucking November. Mm. I'm pretty stoked on that one. But then we got Eternals. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, what else do we got, Marvel-wise? Shang-Chi. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Strange 2, oh. Thor, the new yeah, Thor, Love and Thunder. Are, are that's they, not this year. That's, yeah, not, that's next year. That's 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I figured Shang-Chi would probably be a better like series. No. I don't know anything about it, but I guess we'll see. What is it? The uh, Shang-Chi. Or, mm-hmm. yeah. Shang-Chi or something like that, yeah. Never, no. How do you feel about the next Mandalorian season? That shit got pushed back. Somebody was suggesting that they leap into the future with that one where like Ray can come in and instruct Baby Yoda. I would be okay with that. Or Grogu. Because that gives the sequel trilogy which is kind of like hit or miss depending on who you talk to. Some substance or something. Some substance, yeah. Yeah. How the hell would they do that though? Have Ray there when he's jump 30 years in the future yeah but what's gonna happen to the mando then is he just gonna be an old dude at that point i don't think they'll do that i I don't don't know know what they're gonna do but uh she got pushed back i know they finished filming boba fett and then they said i guess they're not shooting uh mando until like the beginning of 2020 what was it that chick said about jews that got her fired she put some fucking meme up about oh comparing like how conservatives are being treated to like how yeah, Jews were in the, the, the Holocaust culture like quieting people which I guess it's a little extreme but at the same sense when you you try to quiet people yeah. you kind of bring that kind of shit on babe do you feel like being canceled in today's cancel culture is as severe as gas chambers for Jews in the Holocaust. Now, see, you're, no. you're totally throwing that in a different fucking thing. Now, n- motherfucker, <laughs> it, it wasn't even like compared to that. It was like, oh, yeah. You can't say this. You can't say that. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. <laughs> then what did she say? Then? <laughs> she compared how how conservatives are being treated to how Jews were treated in the forties by Germans or yeah, like but, the thirties or whatever. She used like the meme of them running around in their little fucking with their golden star and their uh, striped like down the labeling. Jails. It's, a, it's, a, it's lab- the labeling. The like, labeling. Yeah. I get it, but that's a horrible fucking analogy. How about did you <laughs> see the woman down in Tennessee? The some little small company small business that started selling 
Star of David's that were like, I think it was for unvaccinated, I heard about unvaccinated, unvaccinated, right? And oh, shit, and oh my gosh. Well, yeah, they're like, fucking... yeah, they're, she's trying to say like, if you're unvaccinated, it's just like you got to wear that like the Jew patch. Yeah, like, like, or come the fuck she on. She could have used any <laughs> other type of like symbol, right? Any other type of symbol, but that. The NFL's trying to create that, like the NFLPA, like they're saying they're trying to force people to vaccinate. Yeah, they're trying to. force Some of them are people. speaking out too. Yeah, Joe Mixon's one of them. He's Beasley, like, Cole Beasley's one of them. Too. Cole Beasley, well, Joe Mixon. Mixon was. Mixon was too. Good. He's like, Good for I him. thought NFLPA had our back, but they're sitting there trying to fucking force us to get these vaccinations. Joe Mixon beats women. <laughs> I hate you, Chess. You made me feel bad. <laughs> no, he did just once. <laughs> was it? God damn it! <laughs> it was like when he was nineteen or something, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, like, he's a stupid kid. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, but I—I I mean, yeah, no, it, it is fucked up that. You're forcing people to, to take something when it it's not even FDA approved. It's not FDA approved. Yeah, and I mean, it I, only lasts six months because all the new variants that come out have to be updated, and so do the vaccines. Like this new Delta Eight variant that apparently gets you like high, just like regular weed. <laughs> <laughs> How did we cross Show over does. from that? <laughs> Speaking of getting high, hey, you want to grab that? I'm fucking give you guys some gummies, man. Oh okay. yeah, a <laughs> Delta Eight. No, it, it's uh, from straight from Michigan. You see the uh, oh the Mich- you got some uh, of your Michigan gu- one. Oh, you here. got some Michigan gummy still? Yeah, I got some over here too. How how those been treating you? Well, with the back pain, they've actually been doing pretty good. You got some of these mints, you eat them all? Yeah. Oh uh, no, not yet. No, I still have a little bit. I gotta drive later, so I'm gonna. Well, these are only two point five. So yeah, right on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take right. one. You want well, a couple? Two. Yeah. Did you get the tart cherry? <laughs> I think that's like six. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> She's like, I'll take two. I'll give her six. There you go. Really immense. Yeah. It have tastes you, good as fuck. Have you guys tried the Delta 8 yet? Uh-huh. My cousin it. swears by I it. I love it. Because I've been smoking pretty much since I was 16. Hell yeah. And I smoked almost every day, probably like all day long till I was about 23. And then it started, I don't know what changed in my body, but it started making me really paranoid. And you had the kids? But even before I got pregnant, mm. and even now, like, I'll still smoke, but almost every time I do it, I'll be like, why did I do this? Because I'll start feeling paranoid about really? stuff. But when I smoke the Delta 8 or take a gummy of that or vape or whatever, I still feel just as high, but I don't feel paranoid. Well, that's what really? it is, because it's, it you know, Delta 8 is Indica, right? And is the, it? Uh, 10, Delta 10 is the sativa, and the 9 is just the THC. Well, that's, we got the 9s, but yeah, my I cousin swears by 8s. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I took an eight gummy. You don't have the nines. By force the other day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I shoved it in your mouth. No, you can just kind of shove it in my There's mouth. Eight, nine, and ten. <laughs> yeah, eight you can buy legally, but these we got from the dispensary. These are oh, double nines. You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I thought you said something else. Never mind. Come on, Michael. Yeah. Fuck. See, I'm not high yet. <laughs> so. But yeah, she shoved a Delta Eight gummy in my mouth the other day, and <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey. she shoved. I was like, "Come on, give it to me." <laughs> she shoved a fucking rib dildo into my asshole. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> anyway, yeah. So she, she shoved a Delta Eight in your mouth. I told her with this resin stuff that she's doing that she should make some anal bees. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's probably a mold for that to make it. There's a mold for it. There's a mold for everything out there. Can you put, like, letters in the beads to spell out Guy Party? <laughs> you, do, oh, yeah. you do a slow-mo video of it getting pulled out. I pulled out of the asshole, so it's like, gee, yeah, yeah. We'd have, have to do it from the other side. Pulling up from the, the right cheek and not the left cheek. Cause when yeah, pull, so when the so beads come guy, out, it's like the first party. beat, the Y and Party? No, or G, is it, like, the, the G, G and Guy? I say the G and Guy. Guy Party! <laughs> <laughs> Slips out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, followed by a trail of shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's what you call a plopping out. <laughs> it just plopped out. I know the, the butthole is tighter than the vag, but do they have vagina beads? Would they just be the size of, like, jawbreakers? Yeah, but they're not... Like billiard balls? I think the idea is because of the way it's shaped to get it out of your asshole, that feeling, I guess, when you pull it out... It, because the vagina would, has more would, room to expand, it wouldn't, right? have, wouldn't have the same feeling as a vagina, yeah. you know? 
But w- why don't they make beads for you know vaginas? Babies come out of vaginas, right? What? That's, what <laughs> that's why I said billiard balls. A string of billiard balls. That's what I'm saying, though. I don't think it's it, w- it wouldn't have the same effect, though, you know? Like, they're not... Just because of the curvature of it or yeah, something? and it's, it's mm. made to be loosened for big objects to come out. Big fucking baby heads. Like, like watermelons. They do yeah. have vagina beads. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> that and exists. they're pretty big. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Billiard balls. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't think that they would be... Oh wow! It's pretty big. Those aren't just regular normal. No, they're. I have a said of beads for women toys. How big are those beads? I've said before that if you think of something sexual, and you feel like it's unique, it's not. Somebody else has fucking thought about oh, yeah. that. Oh yeah. Because in the the millennia and the millennia and millennia that humanity has fucked and fucked and fucked. It's been thought of. We, <laughs> remember, we tried to come up with a... We did try to come up with a unique kind of a porn. And we couldn't do it. I think we came up with something that was like being turned on by being shamed by wokeness or something like that. <laughs> 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 like being like politically corrected and you're you're getting turned on by it. And you just get a boner. You get a boner, right, right. Yeah, you. tell me how right, to yeah. well, and, that just, <laughs> and that just back to being a naughty person. Right, it had to be something that tied into like recent events. But they only get boners solely on being shamed for politically correctness. Right. Okay, all right. It's not in the naughty part. Like you'd it's have actual to, being like PC. Yeah, shame. it would have to be something that would be like specific to modern times, like yeah. watching nine eleven videos or something. So it's like a, a new sexual preference. I would say something tied to COVID, Wait. but there's been plenty of plagues before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there has been. There's probably been dudes like beating off to like tuberculosis patients before. Well, I think the woke thing, you're onto something. Maybe it's something like where not just being corrected, but like you're being all the different <laughs> information of the woke information of uh, all the conspiracy theories. That every time you ingest any kind of new factual thing about it, no matter how crazy it may be, you get off or something. Mm. Like the whole 9-11 thing, thinking like, yeah, you watch a video of 9-11 telling you how it really happened and what really happened. You were like, you came like a million times during that video. Yeah, there you go. Conspiracy theories. Yeah, yeah. Remember when we fucking woke up in your old apartment and Butterfly had the, uh, it's raining, man, and they're all jumping from the, uh, Twin Towers? (laughs) No. You mean the video plan? Yeah, yeah. We all woke up all fucked up. Oh, and they're like all committing suicide? Oh, my God. It's like, what's this guy? (laughs) It's like, it's raining, Jesus. man. And they're just jumping from the towers. God damn. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not kosher at all. And see here, I was like trying to think of another one. And I'm like, because I'm like trying to incorporate like modern technology into it. The closest thing I could come up with is like getting a blowjob on a hoverboard. <laughs> <laughs> Like, could you imagine that, like, a dude's, like, gonna hoverboard and he, like, backs up and then he comes in and, like, the girl's just, like, there with her mouth and his cock's out and he's, like, zhip, boom, back up, uh, back in, uh, back out. (laughs) Wally remastered. (laughs) Hell yeah. (laughs) All right, so, um, tomorrow... Father's Day. Oh, yeah. 75% of us have them. (laughs) (laughs) He means in the room. Yes. Not... Oh, yeah, I, I'm in in the room. Actually, if you count Leia, then, then maybe 60%. Yeah, she, she didn't meet her father either. <laughs> I'm going to start with Brad, but I know, Marie, you've got some stories about your dad. <laughs> you're, okay. Beautiful Brad, your dad is a character. Yeah, he's um he's a fucking degen, the finest of degens. Guy Party came to be, in a sense, because... We were talking about Phallus Baldwin's exploits one night. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, we need to fucking record this shit because this shit is ridiculous. So but he's the inspiration that led to this to this recording. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're hesitant to give him credit, though. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I don't want to give that son of a it, bitch any credit. It, it's just that I've told the story so many times. It's like I'm immune to it all. <laughs> Fair enough. 
All right, what's your best? Give me your one best. We don't have to go through, like, a whole list of them. Just give me your best. You're immune to him like a stripper is immune to old man balls. Pretty much, yeah, so... Like, I want your Sports Center top ten. Sports Center top ten. All right, we're starting with number five. All right, we'll go five, top five. All right, number five. I woke up Sunday morning. This was years ago. I get a call... You've got a collect call from Claremont County Jail. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, and immediately, who did you think it was? I'm not even thinking it was my dad. This is when it's... Because you have a number of friends that that could be. Yeah, and this is before I knew my dad was a creep. Like, this is in my early how, 20s. Okay, I was, gonna, I was just going to ask yeah, you how story's okay. always going to be good when it starts off with, you got a collect call from. My dad, growing up, was never, like, a creepy fucker. But, man, I hit my 20s, and he's just like, fuck it, they're all grown, let it rip. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I did my part. <laughs> Which I think every parent should do. Once your kids turn adults, you're like, all right, fuck it. I don't got to treat them like kids anymore. And that's They're what broke. my dad did, man. So I take up the call, and he's like, uh, I'm in jail. I can't get a hold of your mom. I got to get out of here. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and so we're like, all right, what do we need? We need to go to the bail bond. So we go to the bail bond guy, and bail bond guy's like, yeah, it's like two grand. Get your dad out. He was having a fun time at East Fork, jerking off. and. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say jerking off? Jerking off, yeah. He, he said so, those words. <laughs> so, as I start making the bail happen, the guy's explaining to me, he's like, you know homosexuals hang out at fucking <laughs> and meet up. <laughs> I was like, no, sir. I did not know that. Please inform me some more. He's like, yeah, that's why he was picked up, because a bunch of gays meet at East Fork. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, like the trucker stops. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right, all, right. All the homos yeah. meet. I just imagine, up. like, a fucking, like, cop pulling up, and then, like, they shine the light into the woods and they're just a bunch of dudes sucking each other off <laughs> like I'm talking about Mary yeah, exactly he's like we found your father rolling around butt naked with a bottle of tequila <laughs> oh my god I was like okay I've heard enough because this is when I started to question his sexuality it, 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 we're all guy party we support homos and all you know whatever it's fucking pri- it is pride month it is pride month go pride month yeah you know, we support everyone here this was the first time my dad kind of was like oh man he swings both ways <laughs> so we went and got him and got him out he denied everything of course you know he's, he's a closeter and that was number five <laughs> <laughs> you've got four that are better than oh, that oh my god so number four was oh jesus let's think about that one number four <laughs> I wasn't there for that, but I heard about it, and I've heard it from several people. So we were partying in the backyard. We used to have a, a swimming pool, and we were all sitting there drinking beers and shit, and we were meeting up with some friends. So we went to the bar, and my brother took me, but when they came back, apparently my dad was running around in, like, leopard Cheeto print panties. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. My brother tried to contain him and he would not have it. He was just like, he had like a fifth of whiskey and he was hooting and hollering. Basically, you know, like the Bengals are winning the Super Bowl. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they kept trying to contain him, kept trying, didn't work. He ended up tumbling into the fire pit. Yes. He ended up getting like third degree burns. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Guy party. Guy party. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is a fucking animal. And by the way, I think I already said it. This guy never fucking drank when I was younger. It's like he hit 50 and he's just like, fuck it. Let's party. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can understand that, actually. I can wrap my head around that. I can't wrap my head around some of the other things he's done, but... <laughs> so, All right, so you got five and four. Five and four. What happened? Uh, five? He wasn't at White Castles at five, nope. was he? Nope, nope. All right, so number three. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we got a story involving sliders. Yeah, so number three is when he was at White Castles. 
we ran into him. We were at like this bar called the Square Bubble or some shit, and we left. It was an old Beachmont bar. It, okay, it, it didn't last long. Yeah, it doesn't rain. Any, so we any left, bottles. and you guys know. Well, I know you might know that White Castles that sits over there before you hit 275. Oh, sure, an Eastgate? No, not an Eastgate, but uh, oh, oh, and, over and, uh, there um, across Cherry from, Grove. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. So we're over there and. We're eating White Castles, and he comes stumbling in with, like, a bunch of Mexicans. <laughs> Where did he find them? I, I, don't, I didn't even ask. It was so embarrassing, because, like, I was hanging out with a couple girlfriends, and he's like, hey, what's up, girls? Like, like, you want to touch? And, like, getting really weird. So I'm like, let's get the fuck out of here. I can't deal with this guy. <laughs> it's one thing if I do it. It's another thing if my dad does it. I, it it's embarrassing. It's like there's too much creep in one, one room. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Exactly. So it's like when there's two alphas in a room, when there's two creeps in a room, <laughs> it just doesn't it doesn't work. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, it's like you're raining on my creepy parade. I'm out. Let's go. And then next thing you know, getting a call in the morning. I'm back in jail. <laughs> 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 it's like, oops, I did it again. <laughs> it's like, what'd you do this time, motherfucker? And then he's like, I don't want to talk about it. Fucking come get me. So we're going to get him. Bail bond. The bail guys always tell you what happened. Apparently, he was jerking off while the Mexicans were fucking... <laughs> cheese sticks <laughs> what? wait what okay I heard Slow I down. heard jerking off Mexican cheese sticks no so he was like jerking <laughs> off under the table the Mexicans were ordering the cheese sticks they came back down they weren't having it so they called the police he was arrested again <laughs> <laughs> so were they women yeah 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 <laughs> what, were the Mexicans women or they were dudes they oh were dudes. okay yeah so sports center top three fucking so, like, he's at White Castle, the Mexicans bring back cheese sticks, and he's under the, the booth <laughs> jacking it off. Pretty much, yeah. And they're, and they're not pleased. No, they're not. <laughs> they just want to eat their cheese sticks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this was when, um... How did he acquire them? The Mexicans? Yeah. <laughs> they they picked him up, not the other way around. Well, no. <laughs> Do you remember, um, when... What was the name of that bar that was over there uh, days in? Uh, JB's? JB's, yeah, before yeah, they yeah. moved in, like, to the whole complex. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, so there was a bunch of hookers that were upstairs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> so. And they were uh, dude hookers? No. I thought they were Mexican dudes with them. They were. But I don't know why he was jerking off. I didn't ask. How did the hookers But I guess he leads way? back to East Fork. Well, that's number two. Okay, let's go number two. All right. <laughs> that, that party's top five. All right. All right, so number two, I don't have a whole lot of context to that one because number two was getting calls and my grandma seeing it in the paper because my mom bailed him out and I didn't know until my grandma saw him in the paper but he was picking up hookers. <laughs> He's like, why is your dad picking up hookers? Like, she's like 84 years old, like <laughs> onset dementia and she's got like the Claremont County Journal and she's reading about why your dad's in there and he got picked up for soliciting. And mm -hmm. Is this her son? No, this is my mom's oh, okay. mom. Yeah, so oh. imagine <laughs> that comes with that <laughs> <laughs> that, that fucking stepson <laughs> But yeah, so that one, and why I put it number two, there's not much of a to story to it, but he went to jail for six months. God damn. What? Yeah, yeah. Which was awesome because when he came out, he kept going on about, welcome to the Thunderdome, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like he came out like a badass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was talking about how. Did he have a bandana on? <laughs> <laughs> He kept going on about how they would fucking fight and they called the thunder down. He's like, yeah. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Goddamn, Phallus, you're, you're becoming a fucking jail fucking rep here. Reminds me of Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, it was stupid. All right, that's number two. And number one is... Yeah. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, folks. Fucking... I wake up, I'm still working second shift at the job I'm working at now. I was in a different department at the time. I wake up, 
it's the middle of the summer and I go upstairs and I notice something's off right away because like my dad's been retired but he's always moving like he's always out working around so I'm sitting there making my lunch getting ready to go to work and I'm looking for my dad and I don't see him anywhere I know something's up and like all the windows are rolled up it's the middle of July it's like 100 fucking degrees the house is scorching so I'm like alright fuck this I gotta go to work I ain't even dealing with this shit and mm-hmm. as I walk out there's kids riding their bikes by it's just like a tuesday morning by the way like a tuesday afternoon i guess and i hear some like grunting i turn around i look up on the fucking roof is my dad laying butt naked sunbathing (laughs) 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 i was like i'll be goddamn i was like get down motherfucker there's kids riding their bikes he's like <laughs> I started like throwing shit at him. He stands up. It's just dicks, just hanging out. The kids are riding their bikes back by. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm out. Just call the cops. I call my sister. I'm like, get him the fuck. I'm situated. I gotta go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. (laughs) All right. So they say that at some point in your life, you become your parents. (laughs) I can't wait. (laughs) Has there been a moment where you're like, oh man, I'm fucking him? (laughs) I don't know, man. He kind of. Because you haven't shown your dicks around children? Not yet. Yet. <laughs> I hope I never do. But wait till your nephews like are juniors and seniors in high school, and they're bringing like fucking girls around. That's when it changes. The game changes. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I hope I don't end up like that guy. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, Fallis Baldwin. <laughs> All right. Marie, <laughs> you keep putting me on the spot. What you got? I know your dad has done some fucking crazy shit. <laughs> it's more sad. More, <laughs> more sad than that. <laughs> more sad than what we just heard. <laughs> Have you ever gotten a call from him in jail? Yes. All right, let's hear it. He's been in there a couple times. All right, let's hear it. You personally got well, the call. I mean, to the house, yeah. So, I think the last time it happened, and it's been a while, but they said he had just, like, passed out with his foot on the brake at the stop sign. He was on on pills of some kind. (laughs) He was just slumped over. He wasn't even in park, but apparently his foot was heavy enough, I guess, he had it on the brake. (laughs) Maybe he was slowly creeping into the intersection, but... You've compared him to Frank Gallagher. Oh, he's totally Frank Gallagher. (laughs) He even looks like him. <laughs> he used to have the jean jacket. He's got that hair, that long hair. He looks just like him, yeah. Do you have he a... He used to be a lot worse. Do you, I mean, do you have, like, a repertoire with the cops where you're like, oh, it's just <laughs> being crazy again? Probably, yeah, when I was a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they like, they just drop your dad off like, ah, yeah. we're not going to hold him in jail. Well, just just be, take care of his ass. Yeah, he'd be in the drunk tank. All the time. The drunk, <laughs> the, the drunk tank. Guys, saw that in Trailer Park Boys. I did not know that it actually existed. It's a thing. It's a thing. Oh, what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. The drunk tank. Yeah, I know. I've been. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> see, it's a real place. It's a thing. It's just like all it is is like hold you there till you sober. A holding up. facility until they put you in a population. Until you're so uh, sober oh, or whatever. Michael tried to hump a pig. <laughs> they, they arrest you for a lot less than that. And, <laughs> yeah. If anything, they probably would have given me the pig. What did you do in Indiana to get you in the drunk tank? Possession of pot, because they have a zero tolerance for it. Well, that's lame. What did your dad do? (laughs) (laughs) To be in the drunk tank? tank? Yeah. Just drunk and fighting and being loud. Getting rowdy. Yeah, being loud. He was an iron worker. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We know a few of those. Luke's told me several times her people. (laughs) They're crazy. Yeah. Yeah, like I told you when I was little, my mom would send me in there to find him in the bars. Mm -hmm. I'd be like not even as tall as the bar stools going through looking for my dad. (laughs) His friends would pick me up and put me at the bar and give me pretzels and coke. I I don't even remember him 
where he was at. He was in the back doing coke or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Remember this, America. The next time you look at a skyscraper, <laughs> 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 just remember that that shit was built. Local 40 built that. Bridges. <laughs> 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 On a lot of fucking alcohol. It's like, <laughs> I'm 40 with a lot of iron workers. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> and. They are a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta be to be able to be to go up that high, and right? With, oh, I mean, obviously crazy. there is safety involved, and they're very protected. But it's like anything could happen now. <laughs> well, he got hurt when I was. I like was gonna 12. say back in the day. I mean, like yeah, I know. Well, like like you see those like pictures of the Empire State Building. Yeah, like, they're not even hooked anything. Right. And you're like, oh my god, no way. And I think it's like ten, at least like thirty of them like fucking died to I'm make not, that building. I'm not a big like scared of heights person but pretty sure i'd be hugging the fuck out of that goddamn beam right there oh yeah, if you're not I'm secure sure. abs fucking lootly oh i couldn't fucking do that shit yeah it's scary a lot of men in my family did it my grandpa did it then my dad and his brother did it a couple of my cousins do it it's, it's scary yeah i don't know how i couldn't do he it he saved one of his good friends from dying he started falling head first like above my dad and as he was falling past my dad, he reached out and got, actually got hold of his shirt and caught him. But he couldn't hold him for too long. But because he caught him, instead of going face first down, he went leg first. And he shattered both his legs Ugh. and hips, but he survived. My dad saved him. Your dad's got some fucking crazy stories. Like, mm. you've told me some shit that will haunt your nightmares. Yeah. I wish I would have made a list before this. <laughs> what was that story where, like, his friend's face was falling oh, off? Oh, oh yeah. My, <laughs> my dad was nuts when he was, like, a teenager in early 20s, like, before I was born. He would tell me all these stories of different shit that happened. So that story was, it was these group of guys, and I don't remember why, but they were actually coming after my dad. They thought his friend Alan was my dad, and they had a big, huge truck with, like, these big wheels, my dad said, and they ran him over as he was trying to run away from from him they came up on the sidewalk and ran him over thinking it was my dad but it was his friend and they ran over his face and it like tore his face off Fuck. but he was still alive for a while they did a burnout on his face thinking it was your dad yeah and my dad said now he died in his arms but he like ran over to him and was like holding him cradling him and he said he pushed his face like took it and put it back on because it was like free. peeled off to the top and he pulled it back down over him like yeah Ugh. awful stuff your dad don't have to worry about those what guys the getting him though yeah, hang on your, di your dad was a target yeah, they were coming after my dad. What the fuck did your dad do? Probably he fucked one of their girlfriends or something. Oh. <laughs> he, he was such a whore. Like I, Just think Frank I was way too anything. yes, That's and I, true. I was it way too young big. for him to tell me the stories he would tell me when I was like 10, 11, 12, telling me about all the girls and stuff. He'd just be plopping it in all the. And place. my mom told me. <laughs> my mom said there was this one night when they were first starting to date. There was literally a woman outside, like howling like a wolf, like up at the window, <laughs> like howling for him. <laughs> <laughs> like Pootie Tang. Remember that Pootie movie? Tang. Pootie Tang? <laughs> My dad was like fucking Pootie Tang. <laughs> and he said insane. one time they He's were like at a house party. He's like the fucking vagina whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> one time they were at a house party and my mom's best friend hid in the shower and when he went in to take a piss, she came out and ambushed him and tried to suck his dick while he was taking a piss. Damn. What? My mom's best friend. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Damn. All right. So. It's almost so. like one of those like opposite like things that people want it so badly because it's one of the least things they'd probably ever want. Fifty yeah, Cent claims know. he has a magic stick. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of think that baby has got the magic teens, yeah. stick, yeah. right? <laughs> Babe, I Baby's hate to say it, the but stick. I think your dad's got a really good dick. <laughs> It sounds like your dad's got a nice dick. Hey, next time you guys have a family get together, you should get him in the bathroom and compare. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know it's, we all know it's not don't. about the dick. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take pictures. We'll share it on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, but we all know it's I not mean, about the dick. I mean, getting drunk enough. I mean, you know. it's about how <laughs> you use the dick. That's true. How you use it. No. Yes. My <laughs> about to coach us. <laughs> I'm just saying, anyone can have a big dick or a medium dick or a small dick, but they may not big be good with Big dicks aren't good. I They're mean, like if you're trying to fuck her armpit, yeah, that's not going to work. But if you got a big enough ditch dick, I'm pretty sure shoving ditch. it... Ditch? <laughs> 
I'm pretty, pretty sure shoving it in her vagina is gonna do the trick. Yeah, but you don't <laughs> know that. There's been plenty of women who have said that big dicks don't do it for them, and if anything, it's worse and too painful. That's why I say. I it, mean, big enough. It, true. I, I would say it's easier on a big dick because they can be able to point it in a direction that could not have to make them work as hard. Whereas a guy with a smaller dick has to really put in some hip action into it. So you think there's a few dudes out there with like just good solid dongs, <laughs> but they, their technique is just so fucking flawed. They're taking it for granted. and They're, they're like, my dong is awesome, so I could just lay here and she is blessed <laughs> to have sat on my cock. You're right, and that's where those guys do that. They usually will have the, or the woman would probably rather ride than have him because he don't know how to use his dick, right? Right. Because he hasn't needed to learn how to use it. Well, women have to always learn the men they're the poor man. With. The poor man works harder. Exactly. The man with the smaller car, cock, kirk? Cock. <laughs> I'm slurring. The, the man with the smaller cock works harder to perfect his technique. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yours isn't small. Oh, yeah. Isn't she such a sweetheart? <laughs> she didn't need to hear it, though. She already knew. You know, she's the one who knows the truth. Isn't that that's such a good answer? It's just all us yeah. dudes stuck in our ego. But yeah, it's I'm not smiley. huge. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want a yeah, huge but one. You know what? How Those many times are I've painful. been told that I have a, small a penis? black boy dick or a bigger dick than I think I do, and I don't believe any one of those women. They what are you, fuck you shoving your liars. head in her vagina? No. I mean, if it's got to do, you got to do That it. is very it's contrary better. to what you've told us. Yeah. No, I know. That's why I said <laughs> That's why the joke is, I don't believe them at all. They're liars. Mm -hmm. When they say that, saying that I was depreciating my uh, value, I guess, and I'm like, you're a liar. You don't got to tell me these things to say that, you know, it's not as big as everyone else's. You don't got to tell me this. Do you feel like that good. creates an advantage for you in the comedy industry? I was thinking that too. And I was actually, I had a nightmare the other day that all of a sudden I had some surgery and it was because of some blockage in the area. And then all of a sudden I had like a big <laughs> dick and I'm like, great. Now I can't use that for my comedy anymore. If, if I do, I'll be a phony. I, and I'm not about being a phony. I just want right. to say this, this proves his alphaism because he has sworn by his little penis, but until Amber <laughs> said you have a big dick, he's now deciding he has a big penis. I did not say I have a what, big like penis. With, that, with just this dudes in the room, he's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I didn't say that at all. <laughs> and I've actually brought this up before upon one of our episodes about chicks saying this shit to me, and you guys just don't remember. Because they have said this, and I've brought it up before, and I've called them out calling them liars and they're like well you don't know what you have and i'm like you're a fucking lying bitch so you've been told you're okay yeah and i told him you don't gotta tell me that and I but you feel, but you feel you're small yeah definitely have you been told you're small by an, a woman? Like, I know you've been told you're okay, well, that's but have you been to told you're small? Like, Look, you can admit that I have a below average penis when it, like, I'm a grower, not a shower, and I'll grow to a point where I'll help you out, but you don't gotta say even, you don't gotta say I'm big, or you don't gotta say that I'm, uh, got a, you know, bigger size than what I have, or black boy dick, or whatever you want to call it, because it was a black chick that said it to me. But would, a like, chick, would a, a but would a chick ever say that you're small, like... like I know, women that's what I was trying to say. I feel like women are inherently nice. nice. That, that's what, I just read a great article about is that I feel like that women have come across... <laughs> like, they have to pet, they have to pet e yeah, our egos. say that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, because it's... <laughs> I just got it. God damn. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I was actually going to ask I'm you... Kidding. I was going to ask you, have you ever told a person... I shouldn't say a person, a dude with a dick. A dude with a dick. That it's bigger than it really is? Well, like, have you ever, like, told him that it was okay when it really wasn't? I'm sweating so hard for him right now. Probably. You got me worried now. <laughs> <laughs> Party. No, I mean, but I think you're right, though. You have a point that I don't think women do. They stroke our egos because we're little babies about shit like that. And then who knows what lies they've told us. We're, you know, peacekeepers, peacemakers. True. Because we're maniacs. But, I mean, like, on the opposite side, is there a thing about women that guys say? Do you know what I mean? Like, is there is, yeah, there, is I, there the antithesis? 
Well, I know I used to have a male friend at a job I used to be at, and he would tell me all of his sex stories, and they were hilarious. But I remember he told me about this one girl that he met probably on Tinder or something, and they they did it. And he said she had a very, like, not Loose? wide vagina. <laughs> no, he said it was more like, like vertically, like the slit, like it was very... I don't know how to describe it. Like, not wide. Did it look like an extended butt crack? Right, like that. Okay. <laughs> like his dick was, I've like, going it. up and down. Like, and it was like, longer and not yeah. wider. Yeah, and he just he said that was weird. So, I mean, that's an example of a guy talking about I think about I would girls, say that but... maybe guys may try to say shit about women's, like, clits being smaller or bigger than... You know, I was like, thinking maybe like boobs, like a guy will. I was will, thinking that too. I'm but sure, guys. Talk we'll about say that. like like a girl's like yeah yeah your boobs are nice your boobs are nice even though they're thinking like man maybe not. <laughs> but, yeah, would a guy just flat out say like no. your tits are too small? Exactly, or like it's like a, like a woman wouldn't yeah. say your dick is small. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. It's part the of same, the, the it's part thing. of being I, a, like a, a, a civilized it's society. <laughs> your boobs are perfect for me. I don't want them to change, and that's the kind of right answer you say. Just like a woman's not going to say it's no, morality. Too small. Get rid. Get rid of it. That's why we need to send dick pics to an OnlyFans page and have them raid our dicks. <laughs> <laughs> the anonymous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you remember when WBN used to have that best boobs contest yes. or whatever? Oh, I, yeah. I, 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 I put my boobs in there. Once. Did, Did you? you? Yeah. No, you never told I me told that. <laughs> <laughs> they made it a couple rounds. Yeah, yeah. 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 I love how she says they made it. Yeah, yeah. Pretty, I mean, awesome. I'll be. They were in a brawl. Like, no, there were no Still, dicks. Everyone's I mean, had to be in a brawl, but yeah. Oh, they didn't have, like, full. No, they didn't let you do that. If, if someone sent in a picture like that, they blurred it out. Really? Yeah. Uh, so. yeah. But yeah, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! Congratulations! <laughs> but I do have some big ones, so that's true. Triple D's. Absolutely. Yeah. I just got measured at Victoria's Secret. I'm, I'm happy. Nice. I'm satisfied. <laughs> Has a girl ever told you that your dick is small? I want to quote you real quick. All right. As she says, she's got double D's or triple D's. Triple D's. Triple D's. I like my waves like my boobs over my head. <laughs> over my head. <laughs> ah, yes. And you can only do that do. with triple D's. Oh, yes. <laughs> Your face disappears on there. I do enjoy that. <laughs> I do enjoy that. Like you on top where your boobs are just like. Just, I'll, yeah. just, oh, we'll okay. just plop them on his face every once in a while. Yeah. That time, that's we'll just be too. cuddling on the couch and I'll just plop one on there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, fucking, just smack me with it. Yeah. Yeah. Suffocate you. Guy party. <laughs> <laughs> They're heavy. They're heavy. When I start talking about taking a camping trip into West Virginia without you, just smack me with a titty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'll learn. Straighten <laughs> up real quick. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got any other dad stories of Father's Day? I know there's been plenty of times where I've caught him, like, cooking a jar of mayonnaise on the stove or... What? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like wait, the whole wait, jar? what? Is, <laughs> is that a way being to make mess? Up. No, like being fucked up. Oh, oh, just being retarded. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Sorry about that word. Like but, probably Xanax or something. Oh, okay. I was thinking that was like some way you could like make drugs or something, like boil mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, oh, let's get some shit. Miracle Whip. <laughs> well, <know> later. <laughs> yeah. I think I know he cooked something really weird in a skillet once. It almost caught the house on fire. I can't remember what it was now. It was like, Nothing food. It was like crayons. You know, and... just <laughs> shit. Yeah. Michael, you got any? Um... Oh, well, I'll tell you the. It's still kind of sad, but like the one that sticks out of my mind the most. This is for Mother's Day as well, because my mom's crazy as well. I come from a crazy family too. Your mom's pretty crazy. Yeah, you've met her. <laughs> yeah, I've never met her. She's not crazy in the same oh, really? way your mom yeah. is. Oh. She's huh? not crazy in the same way your mom is. Yeah, see? Mm. Our combined crazy would not work. I'm going to tell you, Chester, <laughs> I'm going to get her no. to meet her probably one time in my entire life, and it's going to be at your wedding. Who is mom? I'm, I'm totally going to hit on her. <laughs> <laughs> She'll probably leave. 
She's like no, she'll probably like it. <laughs> she's like she's seventy-five pounds. She's always saying that teenagers are flirting with her and you stuff. You say seventy-five she pounds? It? She's little. I so if I go over, like, yo, what's up? Like, she'll probably, <laughs> she'll probably run it up to you. Like, I think your friend Bradley is hitting on me. Yeah, <laughs> probably <laughs> would. She would say Bradley. She would too. like it. Yeah. <laughs> she probably. Yeah, she probably I would, would like not, it. I would not put it past her. Yeah. She gets a kick out of that. She's fucking nuts. Next thing you know, we're laying her. She does talk about that sometimes. Yeah, the flirting. Like, like she talks about like the people she works with at Walmart. Like, like the young dudes flirting with her. And I'm when like, you were in the hospital with your cardiac arrest, <laughs> laying there in a coma. She told me that one of the nurses was flirting with her. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Comfortingly. Was she into it? Maybe we can get a bridesmaid. <laughs> <laughs> I think she a- she tries to act like she's offended, but you can tell she's really not. She loves it. She yeah. loves the flattery. Oh, she loves attention. What older woman wouldn't want a younger guy hitting on? She I is her very now. dramatic. <laughs> very, very, very dramatic. Like, you know what? I'm going to give you an in. You're a storm chaser. And I can only eat cake. Yes, that's true. <laughs> that's cake. Wait, that's true. Goes- Give her cake and tell you're a storm chaser. I forget why you can she only eat chaser? cake. Because that's just what she likes. I guess. But he, he said something. It's, about- throat, it's something really fucking tight. Re- I can just see. I, I can <laughs> that, that, too, that too. I'm she gets Brad it going stretched up her. every so often. <laughs> I'm, I'm visualizing Brad going up to her after the wedding at her reception with a piece of cake. Goes right up there, sits down, he's like, this one's for you. And then he starts, set, starts talking about a storm. She'd be like, Chester, I don't want you hanging out with him anymore. <laughs> I love your mom though. She's the sweetest thing ever. Surely she's super sweetheart. generous too. Yeah. Like for every birthday, any kind of holiday, anything, she'll give me, him, and both the kids like a hundred dollars. Oh really? In a card, yes. Nice. Like she's very she, generous. She, she never does anything. I mean nothing. She used to go to the movies all the time, and then the movie shut down. Her all of her money is going into nothing. But that's really sweet that she, you know. And she's one of those people that like she works at Walmart. She's gonna be one of those like ninety-five-year-old women fucking working at Walmart. She loves and it though. That's she will what'll keep her going. She will one hundred percent outlive me. <laughs> the women in my family like live a crazy long time. Like my grandma died at eighty-one, and that was young. Like my great-grandma like lived to like a hundred and four. Well, <laughs> like that's, that's how my people are. Mm-hmm. Some, some of them. But like the dudes in my family, we were talking about this earlier. You know how like rock stars have that twenty-seven club. Mm-hmm. My family has a fifty-seven club. Fifty-seven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Like the yeah, there's like four or five of them that have fucking died at fifty-seven. So, but I like know my said, number. <laughs> but you said your dad was sixty-six. So yeah, maybe my dad's side will give me a little. He broke out. He he broke the curse. Now so, you'll be all right. If your dad went out at sixty. Six, how much older was he than your mom? Because your uh, mom's only like when I was born. When he had you, right? When I was born, my dad was forty, oh, 40. and I was my mom was thirty-one. Okay. My mom and my dad were very well. Were very I guess your your dad hung out with some people we know, right? So For sure. Did your Dan? Yeah. Dan is my dad. 40? Huh? Did your mom gave birth to you when she was 40? 31. No, my mom gave birth to me when she was 31. Well, my dad, dad was 40. 40. My bad. Yeah. I was just thinking of my parents and how their your story is the exact opposite. Your mom was the older one? Yeah. Like, literally aged almost the same. How old yeah. was your mom? Technically, my mom had me when she was 40. And then my dad was, like, about 30. Oh, you know? yeah. They were, they were about 10 years apart. Same thing. Was your mom his teacher? <laughs> uh, you would say so because she had... <laughs> she had I wasn't supposed to be born, obviously. I mean, the Matrix totally fucked up on that but she had three kids did you just admit Four. the matrix fucked up in birthing you what are you talking about i feel like you just said the matrix fucked up in birthing you i said that did i hear that wrong no that's what he said oh i don't even know <laughs> you were talking about the like the matrix fucking up and you were born that he wasn't meant to be born but he was right wink because he, he was a he happy, let them know he was a happy little accident. We can't let them know all we know. He was meant to be party man's baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. It's Too con- many secrets. I feel like he could be a construct of the Matrix meant to fuck with us. This I'm guy? All, I'm yes, all, I'm absolutely. All, I'm your guys' I'm all, I'm all yeah. head. I'm not real. I'm all in your guys' head. This right. guy could ruin a wet dream. He is definitely a complex. I'm never the first time <laughs> I've ever a wet dream. Like, when we're tripping, we will see him as code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> like, where are you at? <laughs> you gotta try to, like, he bleeds like, back like, in. It's like, you're wrong. <laughs> Anyways, as you were. Um, <laughs> I, I just, 
I want to bring it up. I know we talked about it a couple times. One of the best fucking times tripping with Michael was when he's like, look at all the fucking bears. And we thought he was retarded. Dude. And we looked at the picture and we literally found all 18, the bears. I think we yeah. saw 18 of them. It was not. I, I, I thought it was crazy too. It was a painting. I mean, because you guys are looking at me like, what is he fucking talking about? I'm like, dude, bear. Bear, bear, bear. Yeah, bear. yeah. We, Battle we, Star we thought he was stupid. Like, <laughs> it's just Michael. Fuck it. <laughs> I told you, I'm an observer, man. Just leave me to myself, and I'll observe all the things you need to see for you. I feel like one of these days we're going to be tripping, and we're going to hit it hard, like three or four hits or something like that, and then he's just going to teleport up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've been having that same dream, I swear. <laughs> like, you guys, in my dream, though, I'm scared, and I don't know how to stop floating or come down. And <laughs> When we were all tripping here, and I had all the fucking yeah. lights, I remember... Uh, he was sleeping. <laughs> he, he was laying down there looking at the lights, and Luke's like, what's that song? Mothership. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luke's like, Mothership's here, Michael. <laughs> I was just like, song levitating. <laughs> I got teased that night. <laughs> was that the Whippets night or was that yeah, the Mushroom the night? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh man, Whippets and Acid, I fucking love it. It's wild, dude. It's been a while since just about Acid, but I mean, yeah, the combo. Yeah, like I was sitting across from Luke when I did it because he was the one that gave it to me, and I just remember his face like all yeah. like, <laughs> coming up into my brain, like Luke's face, like wow. <laughs> 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 Five eight seconds or something. <laughs> and it. There's a picture of you and me next to Luke's dick. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like giving thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like smiley faces. While we're tripping, we're just like. <laughs> <laughs> we're on each side of it. Yeah. <laughs> we both got our thumbs up. Picture, You've never, you it's, have you? it's on Guy Party somewhere. Is it? I've seen. I it. remember there was a picture of him doing it to Caleb or something. Caleb was laying there and he stuck it in his face. Uh, well, let me see if I can find. I it. don't doubt that. <laughs> While you're trying to find that, I wish I had some maniac dad stories, but my dad's not a maniac like yours, or even a maniac like me. My mom wasn't a maniac either, but she had her tendencies. And there was one time where she uh, got thrown out of a baseball game, out of my baseball game, not just a Reds game or something. That'd be pretty intense. Like a little league. Yeah, a little league game. I was probably 12, 13 or whatever. It was actually at an All Star like tournament. That was it was a big deal. Okay. Okay. It was a go on to like state championship or some shit. I got tossed out of like I wasn't safe at first, mm-hmm. and she kept on arguing with the ref, saying that I was safe, and to the point where she's like, I got enough of this. Lady. You're out of here, and I'm just like, Mom, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Like, Did I she had, throw chairs? I don't think I had even gotten. Uh, I don't think she. I mean, if there was chairs that weren't bolted down, she probably would have. But Did, I mean, did she, she go Lou Pinella and nice. like oh, start oh, yeah. pulling she up was, bases? She was one of those <laughs> ladies that if you got her worked up, she would fucking be. Fucking, especially if, especially if she was right or thought she was. Yeah, right. that one. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember that. Oh my god. That's yeah, weird. that one. <laughs> Why are you like resting your head on the side? Why? Why? Is so fucked up. At least Brad's got some space in the right? <laughs> I think yeah. I was taking the selfie too. <laughs> <laughs> like that was a fucking good idea. <laughs> like hey, you, you got suggested you, that. Like you got you, you never suggest pictures and you suggested that. <laughs> right? Like like we're we're like we're fucking in like at the beach and and she's like let's take a picture and I'm like nah. <laughs> you never say I that. Go that <laughs> when you. <laughs> near next to a dick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love you. <laughs> I'm a terrible human being. <laughs> oh, God. Do you have a guy party page right now? That would never fly on any out. social media page. I'm sure I've probably seen it through group chatter. Mm-mm. <laughs> God damn it. Mm-mm. Guy party, guy party. <laughs> it really is. Uh, it really is guy party. <laughs> so you know what it makes me think of? And I've had this thought before, and I know it's wrong. 
every guy bu- party sounds like a bunch of gay guys. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. I mean, <laughs> in all fairness, I think I suggested the idea. <laughs> party. Well, you were the one with your head resting. But on his I, it was because. <laughs> It was because I so. heard Luke say it. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that show was hilarious as fuck. What, did he just, like, exclaim it while you were taking that picture? No, no, yeah, no, I this is prior, I think this is prior to that. He oh, would, I mean, remember, he, there, for a while there, he would just be, like, out of nowhere, he'd just be like, guy party. And I just remember we were kind of, we were trying to come up with names for the pod. Yeah. And I think we kept throwing out suggestions. Nothing was sticking. Nothing was sticking. I think it's a good one, though. It's like the man shit, like guy party. Well, and then I think what happened was we were at uh, Tommy's 4th of July party, and I feel like he said something, and I was like, dude, that's a fucking great name. That's exactly, yeah. That was, that's it. That, that's all she wrote, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it was just like, he would always say, guy party. It was so funny how he said it. He'd just be like, Luke, guy party. Like, it would, <laughs> right. he would just start rolling. Like, right, 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 right. Well, he see, d- and he likes to joke a lot about gay stuff. So. Right, yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah. He likes to play the gay chicken game. He does. <laughs> he was trying to do it with Jeremy, right? But Jeremy's very low-key and yeah. not into that, even playing around, so he kind of... Yeah, Jeremy yeah. doesn't even want any part well, when, of no. when he was with a chick <laughs> here, and then he fucking... I saw him dick out and everything in the morning. He was like, oh, you want to join? I'm like, what? <laughs> no, dude. I'm, I'm going back to sleep. When we yeah. were at Ethel's Tavern for that reunion a yeah, few weeks ago, time. I didn't talk to him that much, but at one point we, like, walked out to the outside and he was like, you gonna suck his dick or what? Or like that. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. Yeah. and I was like, you don't have to tell me to, to do that, you know? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, and then he was fine. Like, right. Right, right, right. He was trying to get some reaction out of me, like, it'd be like, how dare you or something like no but i think it was one of those things i was like all right this dude i know you will probably see his dick (laughs) (laughs) let's start there (laughs) and then think he's ever i don't think think no i know i I know right we were like thumbs up and by right right right, right, right. right. he's like our james he's always been nice (laughs) right like like even that night that ashley came over to his house i think i was kind of worried but it worked. His yeah. Girlfriend yeah. Was there that yeah. Night, I think. But when it's all dudes, right? <laughs> it's like the you never fucking. Know what he's gonna do? <laughs> all bets are off. It's a guy party. Were you there when we were there at his place with Caleb? You were there, yeah. the and he was like just like fucking naked. Oh yeah, tea bagging pretty much, Caleb. <laughs> and Caleb was sitting there with a blanket over his head, like please. But don't. what do you think he would have done? If Caleb had just grabbed it and started sucking. Yeah. Oh, like, Caleb, hey. would he have stopped yes. him? No. Probably not. No, no. It was only because Michael brought a bunch of Ajax and said it was cocaine. Here we go with Ajax again. <laughs> What's Ajax? It's, it's, Ajax is like a the dish, cleaner? A dish yes. cleaner, yeah. <laughs> Caleb wouldn't quit saying, saying that I that. gave him that. I actually am a rare occasion. Caleb would had like that. Time. Well, he, he had, had a bad shoe shine he polish had a bad or whatever reaction. to sniff. No, VHS cleaner. VHS he had a bad, <laughs> cleaner. He had a bad reaction mm-hmm. to that, though. To the cleaner stuff? Okay, it wasn't cleaner. It was a real cocaine. Oh no, I was talking about the VHS. <laughs> oh, we're talking about VHS cleaner. I thought, yeah. no, no, you moved at the cabin. Too fast. Cuddly Caleb. I love Caleb though. I know, I know. I miss you, guy. My, if you're listening, I'm probably not. <laughs> 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 <That's mighty. laughs> He's definitely not listening. Can I ask you? Because he was I know everything. So ask me whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. Did I you mean, ever talk about like wanting to yes, bang Brandon I told and stuff? You this. You I told you this and you, you act like it was nothing. You were... He, he wants to fuck everybody. He wants to, like, convert That's why I stopped being his guys. friend, because he tried to do the shit with me. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, I'm here for you. And you're trying gayest. To be, but I'm not gonna fuck a gayest? you. And you're not gonna fuck me. No, that, no that's you gotta, you gotta be upfront. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, Whether no, it's what? up front like that, you gotta well, tell him. I it. thought that he already knew that that wasn't gonna be anything. Right, and I'm and just saying, like, it's okay that you were straight with This is what he said. Not just about me, though. And his mindset, he thinks he can turn anybody, including you and you and you and anybody that party you know they're not Guy just saying that what's in june uh cicadas oh, oh yeah. yeah so here's another joke for yeah, you yeah yeah that's right we you had a little bit of a guy cicadas 
You guys have seen The Watchmen? The yeah, show, the sure. Show on HBO. On HBO. So I don't know about you guys, but every time sometimes. I was under the fucking cicada storm driving, I kept on feeling like I was in the fucking show The Watchmen, being hit by all those goddamn squid aliens. You know, mm. I had to fucking literally pull off the side of the road. There's one lady. I, no crazy. joke. This lady, this old lady, was in their 80s or 90s. She was such a soft-spoken fucking woman, asking me if she was too close to my car and all that shit. I was like, No, you're fine, lady. I was like, But you, you know, you got like a per capita fucking cicada going on in your car there's one every fucking centimeter there it was covered with fucking cicadas i think the dog realizes you're an alpha and she wants you to fuck her yeah she won't quit Mm -hmm. trying to lick my ball is she yeah she's like then that's the alpha oh alpha my alpha oh alpha my alpha get up there you bitch no. Stay away from him. <laughs> Why? You don't want a hybrid baby? You don't want a sweet tooth? I don't want a Michael tooth. baby. What animal would you like to be crossed with? Ooh, that's a good question. That is a good question. Yeah. I mean, my I, favorite I think I, I would want. I was going to say one that you could fly. I was thinking yeah. a fucking eagle, dude. I was yeah. thinking eagle. Flying yeah. would be dope, right? I would right? love to have a pet owl. That's my dream. Could you imagine, like, flying while you're tripping? Oh my god. I'd probably fucking just fall and be like, eh, fuck it. I'll pick That's up myself probably again. what would actually That's happen. That's what I said. It'd be weird being on the trampoline. No, because you can just lay there. Now. No, jumping on it while you're tripping. Oh, yeah. But I don't know why when you said trampoline, I kept on thinking of it. would be a I wanna, scary feeling. I want to lay there and just look up at the stars mm-hmm. while I trip. And we also, like, we live really close to the airport, so we get a lot of planes that fly over, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude, I wonder what that looks like. I bet it looks pretty fucking sweet. Like, <laughs> yeah, this shit. <laughs> You guys want to wrap this shit up? All right. Yeah. 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 Do you got? Do you think you got enough? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably have to cut out fucking. I don't know how Some much. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cut but, it right uh, out. Boo says we love you guys. Thanks for tuning back. Happy in. Happy Father's Day to all you gentlemen Day. out there taking care of children it's a fucking hard and, gig and happy not your father's yeah, dad for all you yeah. i said bad stuff about my dad but he's a good dad he's a good dude i like I love that him. dude he's, 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 he, he's he a quit nice dude. being an alcoholic when i was like 12 because he got hurt and didn't work anymore it was his it was the people he was with it was and those I mean, other iron workers and i mean picante phallus baldwin he's a good dude too I mean, you know, dudes do crazy shit. Fuck I mean, my dad wasn't there. They're just guy partying. Yeah, I mean, guy partying exactly. That's all it is. Exactly. Right. No hey here. Fuck no. it. <laughs> all right. I mean, keep on guy partying. Hell yeah. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. We love you all. Happy Father's Day, motherfuckers. It's probably coming out after Father's Day, but we love you all. Yep. Train your kids to be future booze heads. Booze heads. Yeah. All right. God. God.